Hey guys, today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It is a more soft, kind of everyday look, and I did use the Cat's Pajamas palette from Lorely Los Angeles. This is such a beautiful palette, and I've absolutely been loving it. But of course, we did the, you know, the cranberry kind of cut crease, and this is my more natural look. And then next will be the kind of like smoky eye using oddball. But I just wanted to kind of see how versatile this palette is, and so far it is gorgeous. I've been obsessed with it. But if you guys see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. First things first, obviously don't mind the situation going on in my face right now. They are scabbed over every time, like the end of the month and then the first week of the next month. My skin hates me. My hormones are horrible and my skin just freaks the F out. So we're going to just pretend that's not there, okay? <laughs> so I love this when my skin is freaking out and everything because it doesn't irritate my skin and it actually has like salicylic acid in it so it does help with blemishes and my skin reacts really well to salicylic acid so I love this primer when my skin is breaking out. This one is like completely empty. I just squeezed the rest of it out so, you know. Waiting for my next one in the mail. <laughs> when my skin isn't freaking out though, this has been my go-to primer. It's the First All Unicorn Essence. This feels so good on the skin. I absolutely love it, but I don't use anything else besides that other primer, the Mattifying Anti-Acne one, because obviously my skin is freaking out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in shade Fair Beige. And I'm just going to spot conceal a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean all over my face. <laughs> I'm not going to blend it in completely. I'm just going to kind of tap it out so it's not like, you know, a huge stark circle on my face. But I'll finish blending it out when I add my foundation. And of course, for foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Color Stay. I'm in shade 150. And then the L'Oreal Pro Matte in shade 101. This is just my go-to foundation combination. It's just the best. Like the coverage, it lasts long. It helps with like my oily skin throughout the day or my T-zone. I have an oily T-zone, not all over my face. I just mix those two together and then I'll go in with my sponge. I mean, for two drugstore foundations, oh, look at that coverage. So good. And then, of course, my Tarte Shape Tape again, same shade, Fair Beige. Best concealer of life, still. <laughs> just, I have an obsession with this concealer because it never lets me down. It's always consistently good with every tube that I buy. It never changes. But I feel like even with some foundations, like I feel like if I buy one and I love it, I feel like the next time I buy it, I don't know, something's just a little different. I don't love it as much as I thought I did. <laughs> But this Shape Tape Concealer is just always so consistent, and I love it. It just looks so beautiful and smooth. So good. And then to set my teaser, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Fix, of course. But what I like to do when I have a... <laughs> what I like to do when I have a blemish is I like to take just a little flat brush, and I take some of that powder, and I set it. And I just take a ton of like extra powder and I just set over the blemishes to make sure that nothing, like the foundation doesn't move or anything when I set the rest of my face. And then I'm going to go in my sponge. And then for the rest of my face, I go in with the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Just because this has a little bit of a color to it, so it's not like that translucent powder all over my face. I don't know, I just like to use two different ones because like I said, this one has a little bit of a color to it. So it's not just like, you know, a stark white powder all over my face. Oh, my skin is even so dry because I've put so much like acne treatments and like pretty much just burned my skin off <laughs> trying to like dry those out, but oh, man. They were horrible. I haven't had acne like that in such a long time. But when it's that time, you know, it comes out. <laughs> so now that the face is kind of set, I will go back in afterwards and I use my face powder to kind of conceal all of that because the dryness 
sucks but I mean I'd rather have dryness than having like huge ones on my face <laughs> so I'll go back and fix that after we contour and everything so I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Dazzle palette I don't think I'm gonna do anything crazy today because I don't have to go anywhere so I think I'm just gonna do kind of like a light makeup look probably We'll see. I say that and then I end up doing freaking cut creases and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see. Then I'm going to go in with my face powder. I'm just going to blend out the nose. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hula. Still obsessed with it. Still can't put it down. It's just so good. And this is just my Morphe M527, as always. And then, of course, for blush, I'm going to go in with Luminoso. And then I will go back into that Fit Me powder. I'm just going to take a little bit on my sponge. And I clean up underneath. And I'll go back into my face powder. I need to get a new one. <laughs> so now that I pretty much have our base done, I'm gonna go in with a Q-tip. And this is the only thing I use to cover up a blemish, is I just go back into my face powder and I actually just press this right underneath the blemish to kind of conceal the shadow that it creates. And it really helps to kind of like disguise the fact that there's even a blemish there. And then I'll go in with my brush and just like lightly tap that out. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some of these Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water because my face needs some hydration. <laughs> I sprayed a lot, but that already feels so good. Okay, I'm happy now. Who else loves leftover cold pizza? I do. Okay, I do feel like that primer water really helped kind of like conceal the dryness on my face right now, which I definitely needed because putting salicylic acid on your face, like as a treatment, is really good for the blemishes to like help them go away. But ooh, man, it dries out your skin so bad. Now to highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek Moonlight Sun. This looks a lot darker in the pan, but once you put it on your face, it is so pretty. And I just, I think it's gorgeous. I love that highlight. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. So brows are finished. I'm going to go into the Cat's Pajamas palette again because I feel like I haven't played with it in a few days. And I want to do a more like simple, easy kind of look. Like I said I was going to. <laughs> so I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start off with the shade Okie Dokie. I'm just going to put this all over my lid and my whole eye pretty much. <laughs> just everywhere to kind of make sure everything is set. Okay, now I'm going to go into Bomb Diggity. I'm just gonna use this as like my transition crease shade. I'm gonna go into Cray Cray and I'm gonna take a little Morphe R37. I'm pretty much going to try and keep this mainly on the outer V or outer corner and then I'll kind of slowly bring it in. I'm going to go back in with my R40. I'm just really going to blend out the edges. I'm going to take my Morphe R433. I'm going to go back in with just a little bit of Cray Cray. And I'm really just going to kind of build this up on the outer V. I'm 
I'm going to go back into Okie Dokie. I'm just taking my little BH Cosmetics flat brush. I'm just going to put this all over the lid, just kind of brighten up a little bit. I'm going to go back in with that R433. I'm just going to blend that out. Now I'm going to go into Bomb Diggity. I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with R433 and just blend that out. I'm going to go back into the Makeup Geek Highlight Midnight Sun. I'm going to take that same little flat brush and I put this on my inner corner and then my brow bone. I'm actually going to put this on my lid too. Now I'll go back in and blend all of that out. Okay, so eyeshadow is finished. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and lashes, and I'll be right back. I'm going to take this LA Girl Gel Liner, and this is in Limelight. It's a gorgeous green. I'm just going to put this all on my lower lash line. If you haven't tried these liners, they are seriously the best things of life. They last such a long time in your waterline. Especially for me, I find nothing that lasts in my lower lash line. These are the only things that last, like, all day for me. So you could easily just leave it like this with just mascara, the lower lash line, and everything like that. So I just applied the Opulent Lashes from Ilore. They're like the Lux collection, or like, I don't know, it's like Lux Opulent Lashes. They are so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. I can't stop wearing them. So you can tell why I just have to pop on lashes, okay? Once you put on lashes, you can't go back. So if you can avoid it, avoid it, okay? <laughs> I'm going to line my lips using the Milani 03 Nude, not 03 Nude, yeah. O3 Nude Lip Liner. Desperately need a new one. <laughs> so I'm going to go into Jeffree Star's Mannequin. I love this color. It just goes with everything. Alright you guys, this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is more of a simple look for me. You can take with it what you want. You can do just the eyes, the lips, whatever you want to do. But I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know any other videos, products, tutorials you'd like to see from me. I am filming a lot next week, so let me know. And make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too. Just so you miss any other uploads from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.